Hi, I'm Rick Ventura, Head Golf Professional at San Luis Obispo Country Club. Today we're going to be talking about some of our areas on our currently 160 acres of maintained grass. Uh, the average uh, turf area for a golf course is around 85 acres. So we're identifying places that we can both reduce our water usage and our labor and then try to make some areas either more natural or just have the longer grass type areas in places that are not in play. So Paul, you wanna go ahead and explain what we've got going on here? Yeah, thank you, Rick. So here we are on hole number three, and behind us is an area where we have identified an area where it's not gonna affect play. Um, it's some of the vast areas that we would find on, the golf, on our golf course, specific to our golf course. And uh, right now, what we're doing to identify those areas is not mowing them. So grass is getting taller, and this is one of the solutions that other golf courses like a Riviera that has Kakuya just like our golf course would do. And so we're going around identifying these areas, and this is a great example of one that we have here on number three. Is that always going to be the final look of whatever we have going on if we're growing the grass taller in different places? No. So it, it's green right now. Uh, we're coming out of the winter season, so Mother Nature has watered it. We've turned the water off to it, so as we get deeper into the summer months, it is going to turn brown. And we just don't know exactly what it will look like brown, but it's that's part of the trial. That's what we're looking into right now. Okay. And then also, uh, I can assure you, having looked at some of these areas, they are not in the primary area of play. It doesn't mean a ball will not go in there. And that would be the same at no matter what golf course we're at. So the primary motivation is to get a little bit ahead of the curve, uh, we're trying to protect some of the natural resources that are here, water being one of them. And living in uh, California, we're just trying to be responsible for the amount of turf we take care of and where there's places that we can reduce that. Yeah, so it is known, we just don't know what time, there will be a mandate that tells us that we have to reduce water. And then on top of that, we are blessed with pulling from the ground our water that we use to irrigate this golf course and Mother Nature will either turn off the wells if we are not good stewards with our water, or the state will tell us, or both at the same time simultaneously. So what we're doing with this program is we are learning answers and figuring it out in advance what we can do to be good stewards, to be best prepared. And then while we do all these things, we learn maybe this isn't the final look. Maybe we do other looks. There's other things that we've seen at other golf courses where it's plantings or that it's a spray down or whatever else it may be. And it's to control and have nice defined lines to create interest, but at the same time to be uh, savings, best savings of our resources. And while we're doing all this, we're gonna be collecting a lot of data. So we'll be learning how much water do we save. We'll be learning how many hours of labor we're saving, how many gallons of gas we are not using to mow these areas and what chemicals or fertilizers we may not be using to maintain an area such as this as we had been in the past. So as this is an ongoing process, uh, we do appreciate your patience. There might be some areas that don't look quite as planned as we want them initially, uh, but we do once again thank you and uh, it's in our effort to make this world-class facility. Thank you.